you talked about that earlier. Well, oh, they're very dangerous. And, you know, I think it's one of those games where you have to make sure that you make them work uh, very hard for their points. Uh, if you let them get a transition, you let them get a few second chance points, uh, you let them get some points off of uh, uh, some turnovers, um, you let them get comfortable uh, shooting the basketball from the arc. Uh, obviously, they're a very explosive basketball team. Give them credit. I thought they stepped up and took advantage of those opportunities. Um, and uh, you know, but at the same time, I certainly wish uh, uh, we had done a few uh, better things, certainly on the defensive end, to make them work harder for the baskets that they got. More questions? They scored about <laughs> well over your defensive average. Well, you know, we don't really look at necessarily the defensive average as much as we look at a defensive field goal percentage. I mean, you know, different games, different teams play different styles. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we don't get hung up as far as you know the amount of points actually scored, uh, as opposed to you know defensive field goal percentages and, and just our efficiency on the defensive end. But certainly, uh, you know, giving up over 40 points of both halves tonight was disappointing. I mean, we wanted to, uh, uh, you know, uh, we knew that that's uh, something that, you know, they're very explosive and, uh, you know, you get the game that high up in the scores. Uh, they got a lot of guys that can certainly put points on the board and uh, I thought they did a good job controlling the tempo all night long. I thought you did a good job in Holland in the first half. Yeah, I mean, but other guys were scoring, you know, and that's uh, that's what makes them dangerous. Uh, certainly, I mean, you look in their box score, they got five different guys in double figures. I mean, that's that's what makes them dangerous. They have incredible balance. They basically have five guys you got to guard on the floor all the time, um, and uh, you know, they they played they played tremendous all night long, and, and certainly that's the potential that they have uh, to be able to play at that level. Into the first half, uh, Ted, it was tied 30-30, and then he went on the 10-2 run. Oh, I thought it was huge. You know, I thought, uh, you know, we came into that last time out and we wanted to uh, finish out the half with great energy. Um, I think they had a, a, a couple of uh, transition baskets in that sequence and, and maybe an and one as well. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, certainly the last, uh, you know, tipping at the end of the half there, um, mm -hmm. you know, was a rebound that we would love to have back. But uh, uh, that certainly gave them that cushion going into halftime. And obviously the second half at that point became an uphill battle. Troy, uh, first game out, Dom Morris wasn't playing for VU in that one. How did he change the game a little bit for you? That first game you held for you with 10 points or less in the paint. Say he had 12 and was really attacking you guys in the paint. Well, uh, he gave us a, a different look. I mean, we didn't, like you said, we didn't see him at our place. And uh, we didn't know really what he um, could do. Because, uh, I mean, we knew our, on our scouting report what he could do. He's a great shooter. He uh, gets guys open and he uh, rebounds the ball. But, I mean, we weren't, our focus wasn't really on him. Our focus was our team defense, like Coach said. And we... Short word said, I mean, we didn't get it done. He uh, was scoring, Holland was scoring, their point guard was scoring, everyone was scoring on the team. We couldn't get a stop. And uh, our goal every game is the whole team's under 40%. We didn't get it done, so that's why we lost. Sure, I noticed you kind of had a pained expression when your coach was talking about that 10-2 run at the end of the half. Yeah, I mean. What was it that disappointed you? Any, anything, when, other, we can't, our job to win games is we got to stop teams from getting on runs like that. and Or even stop them from even starting that. I mean, we. Our main focus is to play defense, and I mean, we strayed from that today, and the result was on the board. It stinks knowing that we play great defense when we want to. We got to be more consistent about it, and that's the only way we're going to get farther and get better as a team. But I mean, like Coach said, give credit to BU. They did a great job offensively. They were hitting big shots, and we couldn't really get a stop. So, good job for them. Good posture. I was watching. Uh, we were we were just thinking about what's next. I mean, I certainly have confidence in our guys shooting free throws. I mean, unfortunately, we didn't shoot them at as high a level as we're capable of shooting them tonight. We missed a couple uh, in that in that stretch. But I mean, I have confidence in our guys shooting them. We were, we were, you know, I wasn't. It was just more about you know just thinking about you know what what's the next play, what we're going to do on this defensive sequence, and certainly in those uh, situations, you know, when you know you're going to be setting up some pressure. Uh, you know, trying to get back into the game. Obviously, those are critical situations just to try to come away with those points, not just for the points aspect, but, but be able to set up and, and do some different things on the defensive end. Um, but, uh, you know, like I said, our guys are usually very capable free throw shooters. Um, as I'm looking at this, I recognize we didn't make as many as, as we liked. And I remember a couple of misses down the stretch, but, um, you know, that's uh, uh, for the most part, you know, we're, we've, we've been pretty good in that area. John only scored eight points off an or 24 in this one. Was it the other guys sort of getting him more involved and opening up opportunities, or did John just 
do something different in that second half that John can do? Uh, Probably a combination of both. I, I mean, I, I think certainly the other guys that have stepped up and played good. I don't think our defense was as good as it had been. Uh, back certainly in our not. I think we played a better defensive basketball game up there. But like I said, give them credit. I mean, they're an explosive basketball team. I thought they got a few uh, uh, easier baskets out in transition and, and in a couple of those situations that they didn't uh, get up in our place. And, um, uh, you know, he's an explosive score. I mean, 2,000 points. I mean, who does that? That's a lot of freaking points, you know? So, um, you know, give the guy credit. I mean, it's not like this is the first game he's come in and, and, and done that, but at the same time, you know, it, it really is obviously something we're always going to these games, trying to slow him down. Uh, you know, for him to get to the free throw line nine times, that's a lot. You know, we really wanted to keep him off some of the areas where he does score, but he scores in such a variety of ways. Um, you know, he, he, he makes it very difficult to play against. Didn't help having uh, Raheem and Crawford. Nope, it didn't. Defensively, or what is it hurting more on, on the general uh, Well, you know, we're very, very confident with Andrew Rogers. I think he did a great job. I mean, uh, and so, you know, I mean, we, we feel like that's a guy that we can always go to. But, you know, certainly Raheem was a guy that causes problems for the defense. And, um, uh, you know, when he got back in the game, I mean, you know, for him to you know, score 13 points in 17 minutes, I mean, I thought he did a good job towards the, the latter part of the game attacking the basket. Um, but, yeah, it hurt, and there's no question it hurt us having him in foul trouble. and. Uh, you know, a couple calls that uh, you know probably could have gone either way, but uh, you know they were, um, you know, it, it got it got them out of the flow. Of, no question. Any more questions? All right, thank you. Guys.